loves. Thank you. Ugh. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a mini haul unboxing, sharing some goodies with you guys that I got over the past couple of weeks. I did purchase these online in store, um, so I'm going to be showing you what I got today. So let's start to it. So the first pickup is going to be from just my local drugstore, which is Walgreens. And uh, let's see. The first pickup that I got is going to be basically skincare. This is the L'Oreal Collagen Daily Moisturizer. It is a day and night cream. Uh, it is restores skin's cushion and smooths wrinkles, natural collagen moisture filler. So I am really huge on skincare products. Reason being is because I'm very acne prone. My skin, my skin is dry. I have to take extra care of my skin. I do not wake up with a flawless face. I have to be very careful with my skin. I cannot just go out in the sun on a summer day and, you know, get a pretty tan. I will get super red. So it all starts with my skincare. And even though I have very problematic skin, I am huge on taking my makeup off every night fully cleansing, fully moisturizing, and I already get skincare products that have collagen in it just because I feel like it's never too early to start a good skincare regimen for you to prolong your skin for the future. So yeah, that's the first product. Next is everything else, it's makeup. <laughs> Go figure. So of course I'm gonna link everything that I purchased in the bottom bar. First thing are four brushes from Wet n Wild. These were 99 cents each, which is great. When the brushes first came out, I actually purchased all of them. And since they are super affordable, I did not spend, I don't think, no more than $25 on each brush. So I do have all of them. I have been going to the website recently and trying to purchase the certain ones that I wanted to repurchase and they say sold out, you know, of course out of stock. And the stores that I go to, they have the other brushes that I, they're good brushes, all of them, but there's just certain ones that I don't use on a regular basis. So of course I'm not gonna repurchase them if I don't need to. So these were the brushes that I actually needed to repurchase. The first one is gonna be the large concealer brush. And yeah. Second one is the small eyeshadow brush. Now, the small eyeshadow brush I actually use, um, I can use it to clean up my concealer for, of course, to conceal my brows. Um, you can use it for whatever you want to. And then I did pick up two of the crease brush. Now, I could not find, I don't think, I honestly don't know if they're the same one. I think this is a blending brush and these are just the crease brushes. But either way, I love the way these feel and I have washed this brush so many times and I hardly get, I actually get no fallout. So, and the brush still feels like when I first purchased it. So that's why I wanted to repurchase these again. And I highly recommend them. They are also cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan brushes. And they have the little uh, symbol that's right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's like a little bunny and the ears are pink hearts. So yeah, if you haven't purchased these brushes, go ahead and do so because they are amazing. Next for Maybelline is going to be this primer right here. This is the Master Prime Blur and Redness Control. So it is green. I haven't opened it yet, um, but I'm not sure if it's green or not. This is the very first time that I'm purchasing this particular primer. So I will definitely let you all know in the future what I feel about it. But I really wanted another primer that controls my redness, although the e.l.f. one that I have, it does work, but I feel like this one, I've been reading a lot of great reviews on it, so I definitely wanted to try that out. Also from Maybelline, I did purchase this Master Holographic Highlight, which is just this, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, 
a what color is this? I don't um zero fifty or no. Oh well. Hmm. I don't know if you can tell, but that's what it is. It's super pretty. I have to be careful with highlights just because I cannot purchase a highlight that is a darker color uh, because I notice it right away on my skin just because I am lighter complected. So I highlights like this that are on the lighter shade you know spectrum they are perfect for my skin tone uh, la, 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 la. next from maybelline is going to be this brightening creamy concealer this is in the shade 10 fair hello just drop it i wanted to purchase a concealer that wasn't in a liquid form i guess you could say so i saw this and it looks like it works really good i will give you a review on it in maybe my next video so yeah that's this the last thing from maybelline is going to be the super stay full coverage uh, up to 24 hour wear foundation. This is in the shade 110 porcelain. I did want to get a shade darker than this one rather uh, so I can mix them together but the shade one up from this one was actually a more of a pinkish tone and in the light right now I do look like I have a lot of pink undertones and although my skin gets red my neck has yellow undertones so I have to gravitate to of course warm tone foundations and this was pretty warm as far as the color spectrum that they had uh, the next color i want to say was classic ivory if i'm not mistaken or just ivory and like i said that had a lot of pink undertones in it so that was a no-no for me but i did pick up let's move on to nyx this is the um nyx studio studio photogenic foundation this is in the shade 102 soft beige so i feel like yes it is yellow undertone too it might be a shade darker than it looks like from the porcelain so these might be a good match to mix together I will definitely give you a review on both you know sometime soon last thing from NYX that I picked up is the full coverage concealer this is in the shade fair and it just comes in a little pod like that and I actually have seen great reviews on this particular concealer for concealing your brows and a good eye primer before of course your eyeshadow so that's the reason why I picked up this little guy and hopefully it works great next goodies that I got are from star crush minerals I did receive this package with the two pairs of lashes that I chose to wear in my last two videos and I took out the lashes. I had planned on wearing them for my St. Patrick's Day look anyway. And I put this little package away and I honestly forgot about it until earlier today. I was actually this morning when I was getting ready, I opened one of my drawers and I'm looking through it and I'm like, wait a minute, I completely forgot about, I literally forgot that I had them. So they are two loose pigment eyeshadows. And the first is a neon yellow if you can see and this is in the color cosmic rays so it just it looks like that and it's of course a loose pigment so I'm super excited to try that the next one is gonna be in the shade number 86 dusty rose which of course I mean I can't describe the color any way else other than dusty rose so I'm super excited to use that as well and I feel like it would really pop even extra with of course some fix plus so super excited for that next goodies I picked up are some lashes from Coco lashes so I did purchase three pairs the first pair that I received is NYC which just looks like this 
they are actually really I feel like I'm gonna save these maybe for a Halloween look because besides the volume they are very long as you can see um, but super pretty and um, these next ones are risque risky so they are actually really similar to another pair of lashes that I have which are from elf and I could never find the name of them you know what style they were or anything because they came in one of my elf Disney palette books that open up and they usually have those at Walgreens or CVS during Halloween time and these are the closest things that I've found to them so far so I actually don't know if I'm gonna be wearing these until I purchase another pair um, but that's what they look like and real quick it says Coco Lashes enhances the natural beauty of your eyes, suitable for all eye shapes and ideal for any occasion. Our lashes are handmade, reusable, and easy to apply. So I love, I used to love when I was first starting out with wearing lashes and getting used to the application. I preferred lashes with a super thin band just because it was easier for me to put on. And now that I know how to apply lashes and I wear them on a regular, I cannot wear lashes that have a super thin band. I, ha I prefer to wear lashes with a thick band. And these have a thick band, it looks like. And the Star Crush Minerals lashes have a super thick band as well and I absolutely love those. The last style that I picked up is going to be Amore and these so far look like my absolute favorite. They are just a perfect amount of volume length and they're more, I feel like they blend into your natural lashes more than kind of just you know the length going out like that so they kind of intertwine with each other which is super good but those are the lashes that i got from coco lashes next lashes i picked up they are from a website called dollar lash club they are luxury mink lashes and the styles that they have start at a dollar yes one dollar and the lash itself is super beautiful it has a thick band like i said that's what i prefer um so if you prefer a thick band then go out and get them if you don't hey get some anyway so you can practice um but these are the style right here they're super pretty you can see my my drawers in the background these next style this next style is mariah it just looks like this let me take them out of the box i just tore them off Okay, so that is Mariah. Oh my gosh, they're super pretty. These are super fluffy and girly and everything a lash should be. The last style that I picked up is called Scarlet. And it's just a little bit more volumized than the previous style, which was Mariah. So it's super pretty like that. And I definitely will be... I actually haven't... Oh my gosh, they're super soft. I haven't tried any of these styles yet uh, for these particular ones or the cocoa lashes but just by the way they look by the way the band is thick and everything i definitely will be repurchasing these so next goodies are going to be from ulta and the first one is going to be this finishing powder lightweight matte finish this is in the shade fair to light it's just a powder compact like this Next is going to be a brow tint in the shade light. Some more goodies. The goodies, what? Goodies from Ulta. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude Mascara. This is in the color Blackest Black, so it's just a new mascara. I'm super curious to try it out because of the brush. I'm super huge on the mascara brushes. If I think the brush looks swack, I'm not gonna buy it. Next one is going to be the Maybelline Lash Stiletto, just in the color Very Black. I purchased this mascara way back when, once upon a time, and I actually really loved it. And I decided to purchase it again because I'm like, well, if I used to love it then, I mean, I doubt I wouldn't love it now. So it 
brought me back a lot of good memories uh, doing my makeup when I was in high school um, when I was a cheerleader for games and I would actually use this mascara so it was super happy when I added it into my cart on my Ulta app so next product is the curvitude liner now on the back of it I don't know if you can see it the way the picture makes it seem is that it has a felt tip liner and then it has that curved one um, maybe it's two-in-one I'm not sure I haven't actually opened it and try it but I will let you all know then when I was cashing out on I was on my app on my phone for Ulta it said that I met requirements to get a 14 piece free Ulta set uh, because I had spent uh, I think the minimum was $19 that you had to spend in order to get this promotion so with these two it was about 20 and this is the 14 piece set that it came with the first piece is this super cute makeup bag with this pretty light pink ribbon and let me take out the goodies the first thing is this blush brush blush brush hello and it's super soft the bristles I I mean, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I'll use it for something. But yeah, that's what it is. The second thing is this Plush Drama Volumizing Mascara. That looks like a good lower lash mascara, to be honest. Uh, next is this little eyeliner, lip liner, sharpener. It has like a bigger side for the jumbo pencils and then of course your regular sharpener oh, joy this has a brow shaping gel but this one's just clear mm, what is this this is a juice infused lip oil that's super interesting I don't know I've never used lip oil before I mean lip exfoliators yes but oils no um, this is a lip liner in the shade Bittersweet. This is more of a blushy, mauve nude color, I guess you can say. Uh, this is an eyeliner pencil in the shade Blackout. It's just a regular sharpenable lip, I mean, I'm sorry, eyeliner. Um, what is this little guy? Ooh! It says you make me blush. So it's a bron it's cool bronzer and then this is a rose blush. That's actually really pretty and I'm not a blush person at all whatsoever. I have one, well, I use it for a blush and literally it's only one and I don't own any other blushes. <laughs> this is oh. This says you caught my eye and it has six different colors. Super cute. last three little goodies this is Ulta mattifying face primer uh, it's controls shine and blurs pores next product is going to be the tinted eye primer this is in peach glow next is the liquid illuminating northern lights um, I don't want to open it but this video may or may not be five hours long and I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. The next purchase that I bought was, well, two of them are from Amazon. And the first one, I did use it in my last St. Patrick's Day video. This was the glitter palette. I got such good feedback and questions about it on my Snapchat. And of course, like I said, it's from Amazon. When I purchased this, it was $23. I had told one of my friends on Snapchat, I had sent them the link, and I think they said it went up in price. It's $28. Uh, I'm sorry if it is, but when I purchased it, it was $23. And I do have Amazon Prime, so I did receive the palette in two days because it's the free two-day shipping. And that's what it looks like up close. The colors are super pigmented. Let me show you. Um, 
I'll do this tealish color right here. That's what it looks like. I'll do the pink like that. And then I'll do the gold. And even this light color right here. I don't know how I feel about that one, but all the other that one might be a good like just to go over some shadows, but look at that pigmentation. Super good. So yes, I highly recommend this palette and check out the link below and go out and get it. Next, let me clean my hands first one moment so there's a girl that does facebook lives she lives in my city i live in el paso texas um her name is let's do makeup she actually showed this 45 piece glitter set on one of her lives yeah, I'm almost positive it was one of her lives. And when she purchased it, I think it was $11. Uh, when I purchased it, it was $14.95, I want to say. Um, so it is $45. Here's what they look like. And it's, you know, that's the size of them like that. Um, I thought it was a great steal for all these glitters uh, for the price and uh, I'll put the link down below too. I haven't tried these yet. Um, this is the first time me barely opening them out of this little package uh, but I I think they'll be great. Um, I'll let you know what I what I think. Next goodie is from Morphe. This is the 24G grand glam palette let me open it for you to show you when i saw the colors they are similar to the modern renaissance palette and to be honest i've only used my modern renaissance palette once so the only reason why i purchased this palette is because it was limited edition and the shadows are super big in the palette and I mean the colors are really beautiful it has similarities to that modern renaissance but of course it's not identical and yeah it was limited edition so if you haven't picked up this palette yet then go purchase it I might be a bad influence and I'm sorry but go purchase it and yeah I know I'll be using this in the future soon so I'll definitely let you all know my next goodies are from BH Cosmetics. The first palette is actually the palette I used in my last video along with the glitter liner. This is the Modern Mattes, hello, it's backwards. Uh, Modern Mattes 28, uh, yeah, 28 eyeshadow palette. So let me open it up. I used that in my last video and I also used it this weekend. My cousin coaches a color guard team and I help them with their makeup for competition season and I use this palette for them because I did a cut crease on them. That video I linked down below but to accomplish those colors I changed it up and I used this palette and it worked really great. Uh, the pigmentation is great. It has a wide variety of colors and yeah I'm so excited to use this more. The second palette I purchased from BH Cosmetics as well. This is the Club Tropicana 28 Foil Eyeshadow Palette. So let me, the packaging's super cute. I love that it's pink, it has the palm trees. Pink is my absolute favorite color. It has it on the front too, that's super cute. So if you open it, it does have similar colors to the last palette that I showed. Um, but since these are foil colors, that's why it, of course, I wanted it. And that one looks super. Yeah, I'm super excited to use this. But yeah, you should go purchase this. BH Cosmetics has really great products. Their brushes, their eyeshadows. I have no complaints with BH Cosmetics. And like I said, it's super affordable. So go check it out. So last goodies that I'm going to show you is my most favorite part about the video. So this is where the package is from, ColourPop, which is my absolute favorite. I feel like ColourPop is the sparkle to every girl's life. The makeup products, I have 
from matte lipsticks to satin lipsticks, the highlights, lip liners, lip gloss, anything that I've purchased from them, eyeshadows, they are super pigmented. I love, absolutely love ColourPop and it is super affordable. So if you haven't purchased anything from ColourPop yet, you should definitely go check out their website and you definitely will not be disappointed, especially because it sends you cute cute notes like this. This is some bunny loves you XOXO color pop. I absolutely love their cute little notes that they put in every package that you receive. So first product I'm going to go over. Let's do the lip liners first. The first lippy pencil that I got is going to be Beeper. That's what the color looks like in person. It's more of a deep mauve color. Uh, I actually purchased this lip liner before and it was super good so I was already running low. I had to purchase it again. The second lippy pencil that I purchased is the color O Snap. That one is super similar to the one I just put on. It's different without the light and it's a lighter mauve than Beeper. Um, but it beeper is this one in person it has more of a wine shade to it and then oh snap has more of a pinkish shade to it so that's really pretty the next lippy pencil that i got is which is this one frenchy so this one is i know for sure it's a perfect red super perfect I'll go on to why I purchased this one right now, but the last lippy pencil I purchased what is ugh, leather. That one is that deep purpley color, which I don't think the light does it any justice, but that's what it looks like right there. That's super pretty. So, I have all these boxes and trash everywhere. This is the I Love Sarai and ColourPop collab. This is, oh wait, I have more. Sorry, just kidding. This is a ultra metallic lip. Oh my goodness. The camera does not do it justice. Oh my gosh. It's super pretty. What, what color is this? Coquette? Coquette. I don't know, but it's the I Love Sarai and Color Pop collab. I have one more lippy pencil. Oops. Okay, this this lippy pencil is another I Love Sarai and Color Pop collab. This is I'll put this one on the bottom. Ooh, so that one's a deep wine color. This one is in Mamacita. Oh my gosh, the packaging is super cute too, uh, if you can see it right there. But that last color right here is Mamacita. Okay, this is the reason why I purchased the red lip liner in Frenchie. This is the I Love Sarai in ColourPop. This is an ultra matte lip. The Coquette was a metallic lip, but this is in the color Arriba. And oh my gosh, it is the perfect red. I actually tried this on from my ColourPop video where I tried on all the lipsticks. I tried on this color, my cousin has it, and it was the perfect red. I put it on without a lip liner and it was perfect. So I can imagine pairing it with Frenchie and oh my gosh, perfect. Next, li liquid, I was gonna say lippy, and then I said liquid. Next, liquid lipstick, it's an ultra matte lip, the I Love Sarai in Color Pop collab. This is in the color Mamacita, so I did get it to combo with the lip liner, which oh my gosh, that's such a pretty, deep plum wine color 
and I'm super excited to use that even though spring is already here and summer will be right after that but I can rock a dark lip in summer believe that going on to the next two products they are from the ColourPop my little pony collab and the first one is an ultra let me see ultra glossy lip and the packaging is super cute I'm honestly gonna keep it and not throw it away I throw away lipstick you know packaging I don't keep them um, but this one I'm gonna keep for sure and this lip gloss I'm actually not going to use I'll probably purchase one and then keep this as an extra and never use it but this lip gloss is in the color pony land and oh my gosh that's the perfect mauve color for a gloss. Look at that. Look at that. The second thing from My Little Pony is going to be this little palette right here. This is, of course, the My Little Pony Ugh, eyeshadow palette. So that's what the packaging looks like. I'm not going to use this either. I just want to keep it and that's it. But that is what it looks like. Super pretty. And the colors are, I'll start from here. It's gonna be Butterscotch, Blossom, Starshine, Bluebell, Flutterby, Minty, Sky Dancer, Applejack, Twilight, Firefly, Snuzzle, and Princess Sparkle. And oh, they're so pretty. I just don't want to use this at all. This and the lip gloss, I'm not going to use this for sure, but the lip gloss I am going to purchase another one and save one and use the other. So they sent me something else. I don't know what it is. Hold on. Okay, this says, sorry, we're late, XOXO ColourPop. So it's just like that. My order wasn't, I mean... I got it a couple of days after it was expected to arrive, but that's okay. Um, this is a Hello Kitty ColourPop Hello Kitty collab lippy sticks in the color Hello Pretty. How cute is that? It has her little bows at the top. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's like a glittery. Wait, hold on. Can you see it? You can't see it. Hold on. That's what it looks like. It's the very top one right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has like sparkles in it. It is sheer, which the lippy sticks are pretty much sheer, but I absolutely love it. And I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm smearing my color all on my watch. I have to take off my watch. I did not even realize that right here I was smearing the lip color, but that's okay. Um, but that is it for my mini haul unboxing video. I hope you all enjoyed all the goodies I was sharing with you all. Like I said, I will have everything linked in the bottom bar. So if you want to go ahead and check them out. So yeah, go ahead and check out the products. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will definitely be back to try all of these lovely colors and hopefully you'll see some in my next video so yeah i love you all bye